Welcome to Schools Division Office, Marikina City's e-learning. Learn anytime, anywhere. The pandemic that brought fear and anxiety among people worldwide has also drastically changed the education landscape. The rise of online learning caused different reactions as students were unprepared for the so-called self-paced learning. For the public school students in Marikina City, the e-learning platform seemed to be a saving grace in the time of the pandemic. Those enrolled in online learning have been provided digitized learning materials that would help them in their studies. Until today, the e-learning platform continuously serving its users and clients with the necessary instructional materials to develop in them the required most essential learning competencies. E-learning is a modern and effective method of teaching and learning process. Four secondary schools in Marikina were chosen to test the effectiveness of the e-learning program throughout school year 2013-2014. Fast forward to 2021. E-learning has served its purpose of delivering essential information and necessary learning and teaching materials to the e-learners and e-teachers as a response to the school's division, mission, and vision. The e-learning program's technical working committee surveyed the 4,100 e-learners from 14 public secondary schools in Marikina City. 3,864 or 94% K-12 e-learners and 236 or 5.8% ALS e-learners. This activity aims to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the e-learning program based on four significant areas such as e-learner content and activities, e-learner assessment, e-learner support, and technical services. Let's take a look at these results. The feedback of the e-learners towards the support by their e-teachers was highly positive as all the indicators showed the e-learners positive response. They had chosen almost always when they talk about their e-teachers assistance such as monitoring their academic progress that earned the highest frequency with 1,984 or 48.4% responses. Significant points to consider for the enhancement of the technical support and academic assistance of the e-teachers based on the recommendations of the e-learners are as follows. 1. Explain the details and tasks clearly for the e-learners to grasp understanding. 2. Consider students who are struggling in their studies. 3. Respond to questions, concerns, and issues immediately. And 4. Extend help, especially when preparing for assessments. Through your feedback, we were able to identify the pressing need of the e-learners and e-teachers. A new provider. Notice a much faster and more improved system capabilities. Less lag, less waiting time, increased productivity. Based on the table, participants during the pilot test observe that a little more time is required for the materials in the repository to be searched, viewed, downloaded, or uploaded. There are 285 or 35.5% respondents who experienced that a little more time must be allotted for the file to be successfully uploaded, downloaded, and viewed. Results from the 12 other schools indicated that 612 or 40.2% respondents also experienced prolonged time for their repository files to be searched, viewed, downloaded, or uploaded. To boost the server speed is highly recommended in preparation for the next school year as the increasing number of e-learners is expected. The third latest e-learning platform feature is the e-library. While waiting for the next big project with similar objectives, the e-library serves as temporary storage of instructional and learning materials in various formats and an array of library resources. The e-learning program may not be perfectly crafted, but it is something that you will be grateful for because you are Marikenyo. Every learner's need, the Department of Education and the city government must heed. Let's promote e-learning program. Learn anytime, anywhere.